Hello, in this video I want to show you how to transform an NFA to a DFA. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, so I stick with the short forms. Anyway, let's get started. This is our NFA and we want to make a DFA out of it. Um, this is our starting, our starting state and this is our final state. So we start with the starting state, which is Q0. And then we take a look at what happens if we have the input R we get back to our starting state Q0. By the way, let's mark about what we're talking about. Um, the next thing we're going to do is check out what happens if we put in an H as an input. And we figure out that if we put in an H, we can get into the state Q0 or into the state Q1. So we make a new state that's called Q0, Q1. And we get into this state if we put in an H. By the way, one of these two states, so the Q1, is a final state. So also this combination, com com combination, this combined state is also a final state. Okay, next le let's look at what happens if we put in an F. So F gives us Q0 and Q2 as a next state. So we will create a new state, Q0, Q2. And we get into this state if we put in an F. Okay, now we are finished checking out state Q0. Now we are going to check out either this one or this one. I'll start with this one. And because this is a combined state, we always have to keep track of what happens here and here. Okay, let's start again with the R. What happens if we have the input R in this state? And we figure there's only one thing that happens with the R we get back to state Q0. So we draw this line and write more pretty letters. Okay, next what happens if we put in, if we have the input H. So we have to check all the arrows with the H. We have an H here, we have an H here, and we have an H here. So as the next states or the arrows that are, the, the states where the arrows are pointing are state Q0, Q1, so this means that we have, when we get the input H, we just get back to our state here. As next one, we're going to check out what happens if we have an F. If we have an F, we can get back to Q0. In this state, we could get back to Q1. And if we are here, we could also get to state Q2. So the combination... So we again have another combined state, which is Q0, because this is one next state, Q1, because this is one next state, and Q2, because this is one next state. And we reach that state if we put in, if we have the input F in this state. And as mentioned before, if one of these states is a final state, then this whole thing gets a final state. And as Q1 is a final state, this is going to be our final state. Okay, by that we finished looking at this thing. So we can remove that. And the next one is we're going to look about this stuff. So we will have to check Q0 and Q2. Once again, we start with the R. What happens if we get the input R? We just reach back into state Q0. And the last one is we check the H. So when we have the input H in this state, we get back to Q0. We could get to Q1 and that's it. So we go to the combined state Q0, Q1 when we have the input H, H in this state. I was about to say F, sorry for that. And with that, by that, we're finished checking this state, so we can remove the markings. And we have this last state here that we didn't check yet. And because this is a combination of all three states, we always have to watch out for all three states here. Let's once again start with the R because it's the most easy one. So the R just brings us back to Q0. So we can draw the R line. Now let's check what happens if we have the input F. We could get to Q0, we could get to Q2, and we get, could get to Q1, and we once again could get to Q1. So what happens for us is, 
we just reach back into our, or we just get back into a Q0, Q1, Q2 state. And the last one is the input H. So let's check that. I'm really exhausted. So we can get back to Q0 and we can get to Q1 and we once again can get to Q1. So we have to draw this line to this Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1 combined state when we have the input H. And that's basically your nice new DFA. This does not mean that your DFA has to look like this. You can actually make a DFA that also only has three states as the NFA. But with the method I showed you, you get four states. And one advice, if you try this yourself, don't use the mouse and draw it on the computer because then you will get like not so nice looking stuff as this. Try to use a pencil and paper. That being said, thanks for watching and I hope it helps anyone.